Hello, this is Mitch Wagner from Light Reading here at Mobile World Congress with Peter Margaris from Palo Alto Networks, and you head up service provider marketing. Yes. If I'm correct. How are you? Okay, how are you? Good, thanks. So, um, Palo Alto have a history in the enterprise, I know, but now you're moving into the service provider. So what are the different needs there and, and how are you prepared to meet those? Yeah, we, we've been working for the past couple of years actually in terms of evolving our products and uh, we've built uh, several different capabilities within our products to serve the service provider's specific needs. They have uh, a multitude of different use cases and different scaling requirements, different requirements for visibility within their networks that we have to serve that are quite different from the enterprise customers, but we've built a lot of those capabilities into our products now. Okay, so the scale is obviously larger. Yes. And what are some of the different visibility requirements that they need? If you look at a typical service provider network, there's a lot of different types of signaling within the networks. There's also uh, traffic uh, that they have to inspect, and they, and they also have to look at application layer uh, 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 traffic as well. So there's different uh, points in the network also that they have to monitor, manage, and, uh, and inspect for vulnerabilities and for intrusions that are uh, quite different from what uh, a typical enterprise would have to worry about. Okay, now to, uh, to my left here, perhaps off camera, I'm not sure, but there is a, a, an interesting looking device here, and I'm wondering if you could tell us uh, what, what we're looking at. What, what is... Uh, yeah, we, we, we launched our K2 series uh, next generation 5G ready, uh, uh, our, our K2 series 5G ready next generation firewall. So what, uh, what we've done is we've expanded a lot of software capabilities and, uh, and irrespective of form factor. So the K2 series includes uh, a multitude of, it's a family of products that specifically are built for service providers as they evolve and as they continue to evolve from today's 4G LTE networks to 5G. They're gonna have a, a number of different uh, scenarios that are gonna include IoT and IoT deployments at massive scale in their networks. And, uh, and, and also their networks are gonna become more distributed in nature, more virtualized. So the visibility requirements that they have is gonna increase in terms of the types of traffic they're gonna have to monitor. For example, uh, with IoT, for example, there's NB IoT devices that are going to start evolving much more rapidly here in the next couple of years, and we've built some specific software capabilities into these products so that service providers can manage and monitor and then address in an automated fashion any type of security vulnerabilities that are going to be with these different use cases. Okay, so what are some of the special needs with regard to, to 5G? Uh, you talked about that a little bit, but I'm wondering if you could go into that a little more in depth. Right. If you look at, um, if you look at, if you consider the types of threats that are on terrestrial networks today, mm -hmm. a lot of those are going to start moving on to mobile networks in the future, because just by the nature of uh, the number of applications and the number of devices that are going to start uh, becoming more proliferated on on mobile networks with 5G. But also the types of applications are going to change quite, uh, quite drastically. Today's networks are supporting mostly consumer applications and, uh, and, and uh, those type of applications are going to continue to be used with 5G, but there's going to be a multitude of new uh, business critical, uh, mission critical applications uh, such as connected cars, uh, you have uh, even remote surgery that are going to be using 5G networks and uh, it, it's also going to enable whole industries to, uh, to build customized applications for their purpose. So those types of applications are going to require a much deeper layer of security that's going to be required for the service provider to, to build into the networks. Okay. All right. Well, let's leave it there. Thank you very much and hope the rest of the conference goes really well for you. Thank you very much.